Shalom, guys. Shalom. Yes, welcome to the channel, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Today is a beautiful day. We just want to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like I say, in this video, we're going to be talking about, or kind of, I say, we're, we're going to take you back to 2019. You got to think, you got to be in that mindset of 2019 when, uh, I say before they really start to uh, introduce COVID and lock down a lot of things and tell you to do a lot of stuff. So we're going to be talking about Fed now. What now? You know? Welcome to the new world order. The great yes. reset is already here. Ah, it's been here. It's been here, guys. So so stay tuned. We, we got a lot to talk about. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. So it's July and, you know, everybody, you know, they're ready to go to the July 4th barbecue and talk about wow. submarines and talk about all of these things that are happening in the world. But in case y'all forgot, FedNow is launching this month. It's July 2nd right now. FedNow is launching. Now, it's going to start out like my husband was saying. If you look back at 2019, it's going to start out slow. So in 2019, December of 2019, they had like, you would hear on the news about China, Wuhan, all of that. Jan then January, you would hear it on the news, but it wasn't really impacting America. February came, then boom, March. And what happened in March? Mm. Y'all were on lockdown. Yeah. The whole world was on lockdown except Tanzania and Madagascar. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? And you couldn't work. You couldn't really do nothing. Your job starting to bring new new rules in and everything like that. So when we say 2019 to 2020, just go back to that mindset. Because I know yeah. we was in a mindset of moving to Africa. And I was working at a job at night and they started changing rules. And I'm like, man, we got to go. <laughs> we really got to go. We got to flee, man, as soon as possible. So... You really got to be in that mindset of what's really about to happen. Because it's, it's going to be quiet. It's going to be very quiet. But if you pay attention, you, you would really know what's going on. And this is why we're trying to do this video, to tell you guys, like, stop stop playing. It already happened before. It was just how long ago was that? Three, four years ago? Yeah. They already showed you the game plan. And it worked is the crazy part. Most people got vaccinated. Huh. Ah. The vast majority of Americans got vaccinated. Africans didn't get vaccinated, but the vast majority of Americans did. The vast majority of Europe and Asia did. Really? So, you guys, you need to start thinking about your best case scenario in America and your worst case scenario in America, then your best case scenario in Africa and your worst case scenario in Africa. If you're on the fence, and you're like, I know I need to do something, but I don't know what to do. And you're just frozen mm -hmm. and you're not doing anything. That's not a solution. So let me help you out. Best case scenario in America. What's the best case scenario? The right. Fed now, what? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't do much. <laughs> you know, you can still work. Well, maybe you can't work, but then hyperinflation is non-existent. I, there, there's no I best... Know. That there's no best case scenario, like really. In America, no, there's not. Because if you really think about it, it's really not. It's, it's not really not. Better. It's really not. Ah, it's really not. Best case scenario, you just. We <laughs> <laughs> try, we trying, but like every time we think about it, it's so much going on in America. As you guys see, if you're tuning in to this video, and you're in America. I know you guys see a lot, like, from what we see. I know you guys feel a lot from what we, we see and, and really can't feel, but there's really no best case scenario. Yeah, because the food supply chain, that's jacked up. No matter where you move, no matter where you go in, that, in the States, anywhere, it's still going to be crazy because it's that system. Anywhere close to the States, Canada, South, South America, like it's it's still gonna be that system. Yeah, Australia. Yeah, what J Jamaica? Well, I, Jamaica, yeah, Jamaica is bad with yeah, violence. Yeah. I didn't know it was that bad. Jamaica's number one with murder. So, oh, 
Yeah. There's no best case scenario. But what's the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario in America that's probably about to happen is that the next three months it's quiet. And then by month four, you know, you're coming into the winter time and they're like, oh, you can't have your direct deposit until you do Fed now. And so everybody's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just do Fed now. It's not a big deal, you know. They just want to help us after COVID-19, just like the vaccine. They want to help us. They love us so much. So they must want to help out. And then after that, they slowly take away more rights. You can't own your house. You can't own land. You can't own your farm. Oh, more than that, maybe a drone pops in and poisons your crops. But we're actually going to talk about that in another video. But that's actually what's happening in America. Oh, then China. (laughs) (laughs) Keep going, I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> then China, they're buying up. And people say China is in Africa. Yes, they are. I hate to break this to y'all, but China has been in America longer than it has been in Africa. I don't think y'all really pay attention to history and the Cold War and what has been happening behind the scenes. But if you haven't, it's not the end of the world. Just go on Google and do some research. It's real easy. So, China has been in America since the 50s, 60s, 70s, right? So what does that mean? Everything you look at in America says made in China. Literally everything. Like clothes, what else? Anything you buy, gadgets, anything like that, technology. Most things inside of America are made in China. Mm. On top of that, and that it's not necessarily like that in Tanzania. You'll find some things that are made in China, but a lot of like the foods, it'll say made in Tanzania or made in Kenya. Sometimes you'll see like made in Europe as well, but it's not the mass majority of things. And so China is actually going in and they're buying up land and houses. So not only is China buying up real estate and houses so that people will be permanent renters, but also Bill Gates is buying up farmland. All over the globe, not just, he's buying up farmland everywhere. He's buying up farmland here. He's buying up farmland everywhere. So worst case scenario in America, you slowly and subtly begin to lose control of everything that you have Mm -hmm. or of the remaining 30% of the control that you actually have in reality because you really don't have a lot of control of your life in America. Best worst case scenario in Africa is that you come here you maybe you find some land maybe you find a house but you decide you know three months down the line actually i'd like to switch to a different area that's not so city like and so then you switch to a different area maybe you start building and you know maybe the cbdc craziness starts going on and you lose out on some of your money so you decide hey let's just build out of wood let's build out of mud and let's live like the locals and let's learn from them that's worst case scenario in africa yeah. And so eventually you'll begin to become more like a local and you'll contribute yeah. to the community and you will go back to your roots. Worst case scenario. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The worst case scenario is really you getting back to your roots and learning because it's, it's different. It's definitely going to be different, especially if we're not used to that. It's going to be very different. That's the worst case scenario It's like mm-hmm. growing and learning how the locals live and how cheap they live. They can really live off. I'll say a thousand maybe two thousand a day shillings yeah how much is that like 50 50 cent a day maybe a dollar a day because they have certain things that you can eat that will sustain you for the whole day you have people walking around with tea and coffee and and things like that where it's only like 100 You, you can really survive here worst case scenario with a little bit of money um in the best case scenario you really learn how to live like a local you really get back to your heritage and your culture and 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 really know how to survive when the world's going to be crazy when the world's going to be sodom and gomorrah because that's what's basically happening in america mostly america the world ain't doing all that yeah best case scenario in africa You move here, you find a nice, decent house that's way cheaper than you paid in the U.S., and you start investing in businesses. You start running businesses, you start acquiring land, you start acquiring properties, 
and then you still get to return to your roots and live like a local but you're thriving in a different way versus when you're trying to be in america and you're comparing the worst case scenario there you don't have any control of your life oh that's heavy you just slowly start to lose all control even with the pandemic things change so slowly and subtly for a lot of people that they're just accustomed to it now so now when they roll on the next thing you're gonna be like oh well i guess that that's how it is we just gotta follow father america <laughs> and do whatever they say but for the people that are like oh cbdc's are gonna be everywhere they're actually not half the world right now is not looking into even getting a cbdc and if you and when y'all come to africa you're gonna understand what we mean when we say that africa is different just because something seems like it's about to happen or you're like oh america and europe control the whole world that's actually not how it is a lot of times a lot of these countries especially in africa they'll seem like they're on board with something just to actually get the money and then they ditch <laughs> <laughs> They buy, they they buy vehicles the whole idea. For eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> so, Alfred, y'all gotta understand. Just visit Africa for a month, and you will understand what we're talking about. But ultimately, the decision is up to you. What you need to do right now, you need to actually pay attention to what's going on. Don't try to be asleep. Don't try to just look at the Bible and then never look up and actually see what's happening in the world because you're going to be swept away with all of the craziness if you just not focus on anything. Yeah. And if you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna ignore it and just sit here and you know, like sing songs and like that's, that's not gonna solve your problems. You need to put works with your actual faith and see what's going on. Like Abraham and Lot, they knew what was going on. They weren't like, oh, Sodom doesn't exist. I'm like, no, it existed. And they had to take steps to get out. Yeah. A lot of confusion going on in the world, so don't get caught up in that confusion. As you know, confusion is not of the most high, so it's very simple. It's very simple, and that's all we're trying to do is just make it simple for you guys to um, just listen. And we try to do everything that we can do while we're here, while everything is good, to help you guys. Yeah, because so, once it gets bad, yeah, that's not the time to try. Really, it'll be too late. Yeah. So with that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Um, and yeah, visit the links in the description. You know, multiply your talents. Dream Life Africa, because Africa is here for you. The last thing I got to say is check out this YouTube channel called Shattered Paradise. We'll leave a link in the description. They have really, really good content they go in depth into what's going on they do all the research so you don't have to so you can actually see what's happening instead of pretending like it doesn't exist yeah because it, it man that's that's given us a lot of information and all we really got to say is flee now say it now flee now choose now so guys enjoy your day enjoy your night we'll be talking to you in the next video Shalom. Shalom.